This past month, uh, I had the opportunity to go to El Paso, Texas. It was the first time in my 14 years of living in the United States that I actually got to see firsthand the real impact of this violent wall. Build that wall! Build that wall! Build that wall! Hearing the stories from organizers at the border really reinforced for me why climate and migration are connected issues. Drought fueled by climate change has had disastrous consequences for Central America. Farmers, for example, haven't been able to till their lands the way that they have used to. Drought has been impacting their ability to grow coffee and other crops that have been essential to their livelihoods. And therefore, communities are feeling that there's no other choice but to leave their homes and to migrate to the United States. It's important that we know that the United Nations has estimated that by the year 2050, there'll be over 200 million people who are migrating because of climate change related reasons. And already since 2008, over 26 million people every year are displaced because of extreme weather, drought, rising sea levels, and a whole host of consequences because of climate change. This is a much bigger issue than just the current migrant caravan. We're looking at the impacts of the climate crisis on communities all around the world. We cannot claim to fight for climate justice if we turn away climate refugees once the storms are over and the droughts have ended. And they want to come into our country. Border agents throwing tear gas canisters. And it's not happening on my watch. It's not going to happen. Building the just world we need means that we must fight for policies that support people who are impacted by the climate crisis. We need for their human rights to be respected. We need for their ability to migrate and create new homes and lives to be supported. And we need to stand up as a climate movement for migrants and refugees.